Wait, so? Good boy. <laughs> Is that mommy's treats? Oh, mommy gives you good treats. Hey, folks. So today we got a pretty good stuff, a pretty good pro project getting started. Uh, we're going to start working on our bathroom. So really the first step of this whole uh, project is to uh, start getting all the nails out of the cedar because this is going to be our trim. so now that we've got all the nails out um, the next thing I like to do is take a hard bristle brush and just give it a brush really all I'm trying to do is get the dirt and the grime off of it I don't want to score it and I certainly don't want to change the, uh, the look of the boards but I do want to get all the big dirt and any loose loose wood uh, off of it not so much worried about like the like the tears in the wood so much as just whatever's loose so it also gives me an opportunity to check and inspect every board uh, and make a decision whether or not I want to keep that board or not for the most part on these at least that I've been looking at they're all very solid. I haven't seen any. Uh, I've only seen one that had a big crack in it that went all the way through. We won't be using that one. But the rest of these, they're solid. And for what we're using it for in a, in a baseboard, uh, even one like this that has kind of a chunk missing off the end, we can still use that. Now, the boards that we're going to be using for the walls, if you recall, if you've seen some of our other videos, uh, I'd gotten those, the same type of posts as these, fence posts, uh, from a place back in Illinois. Uh, I think we got like 110, 120 of them. And uh, I did the same process on those as I'm doing on these. Just basically went through them, took out all the nails, brushed them, and then wrapped them and packed them. And those are the ones that uh, we'll be using on our walls. So while Jen is working on cleaning those boards, I'm going to work on getting the metal roofing that we're going to be using as uh, part of the siding in the bathroom, uh, getting those up on the horses and ready to start uh, measuring and cutting. So the next step of this, uh, of us getting prepared, 
or at least preparing all the material for a bathroom build, uh, are these panels. And these are the panels that uh, I talked about in a couple of prior videos. Uh, again, these were also fence posts. They're a little bit thinner, uh, but these are uh, Red Western cedar, and uh, these are what are gonna become our walls in our bathroom. A couple of benefits to these. Number one, they're so light. I mean, it's amazing how light these are. Um, they're strong, they look great. And uh, we're just gonna clean up. These have been stored outside uh, for about a year or so. Uh, so we're gonna just give them a quick cleaning, stack them up, and then uh, start building. We're gonna be cutting quite a bit of metal today. And uh, so I do have some metal cutting blades, but I found that a lot of folks say you just have to turn your, the, your, your saw blade upside down in your skill saw. So that's exactly what we're gonna try today and see how, play, see how it works out. So I've got my wooden saw here, saw blade. So we're just going to flip this around, throw it back in here, we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. As is with many of my projects, I get started thinking I'm doing really, really well. Then I realize, well, I may have forgotten something. Well, gosh dang it, happened in this one too. So originally, you can see I put some furring strips there. I wasn't planning on having those in there. Originally, the uh, metal panels would simply ride on here and just get screwed into the studs. Well, come to find out, that is a really stupid idea. And the reason being is the insulation here, uh, since there was no uh, um, bracing behind the panels, uh, it just kind of flowed in the wind um, and looked like crap. So we're putting these furring strips in. Uh, we've got, we're going to have three uh, one at this level at the on the top one in the middle here and then i'm going to put another one here on top of the what's going to be the baseboard uh, now speaking of the baseboard because of the thickness of the ridges uh, ridges on the uh, paneling we're going to actually have two of them 
on top of each other here. And this bottom, this first piece here will act kind of like the one of these furring strips in that it will get the uh, bring the wall out uh, off of the studs a little bit. So, so yeah, so that's happened. Not a big issue, but certainly something I did not consider when I first started uh, this project. Uh, with these strips in, though, I have no doubts that the uh, metal roofing is going to sit really nice up against the wall and really uh, give us the look that we were looking for. So back at it. We are making progress and all of the metal is up and we like it. Now we left this space over here open because that's where the shower unit's going to be. Haven't quite figured out yet what I'm going to do with that. But uh, yeah, so far, so good. So now what we got to do is we've got to go start cutting our uh, cedar planks for the walls. So let's go do that. So now what we're doing is we're just we've cut our pieces uh, and now we're we've got them we got the top piece level uh, above the the uh, the window there so now I'm just taking the brad nailer and going down and tacking these into place And this final piece here is just going to slide underneath the uh, underneath the metal just a little bit to help support the metal and up here at the top. And then afterwards, when we're done, we're going to be putting a nice piece of trim over here to cover up all of the this edge here. So we're getting the look that we wanted. Uh, this is exactly what we thought it was going to look like, and we could not be more pleased. Uh, now we're going to be working up on here and getting all of that done. So let's just get to it. All right, so now we've got the majority of the paneling done. Um, I still got to do that up there, but I need to take my time with that because I don't want to screw that up. Uh, the next thing that we're working on here is some trim to go over the uh, metal. Uh, originally, this is what we were going to do. Uh, just put a piece of trim on top, but you know, there's, there's these it's still showing metal and we don't like it. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go over that with this piece. So we think it's going to look nice uh, and it'll cover up the that ugly edge, you know, here. So that's what we're going to do.
Okay, so we've got the bathroom kind of figured out with what we're doing with the shower stall. But before we can install that, I have to start the ceiling. So we're going with, uh, we had purchased some one by five by six uh, cedar boards. So um, they are not the, uh, the tongue and groove, but we're okay with that. It's gonna, we, we think it's gonna look good once we get it up. So we're gonna go ahead and build out this section of the ceiling right now. Well, Wicko's chewing on cardboard. And uh, that way I can then get the pan in here and then start working on that stuff. So here's our the first board of our new ceiling. There it is. All right, now let's uh, get our second board in. That was easy enough. We got a ceiling. Hey folks, so we are in our bathroom, and as I mentioned, uh, I believe in a prior video, we had some technical difficulties with filming uh, for a few days. And unfortunately, uh, the film that we took at the uh, end of this video of our build here, uh, unfortunately, was just unusable. So we have corrected it, uh, but we did want to give you guys a look at how we finished our bathroom off. Uh, now, in this video, uh, you saw us uh, putting up our uh, cedar uh, walls and uh, we put up our uh, uh, roofing tin. Uh, we really, really like the way that it came out. Uh, the look is exactly what we wanted uh, and it is that really nice rustic look. Now. The big part of the bathroom uh, that we <laughs> that we missed all of, that I really wanted to show you guys is our shower. So the shower pan that we use is the same shower pan that we used in our outdoor shower uh, for the last several years. We just simply cleaned it up and it, it honestly, it looked almost brand new. The, uh, what we ended up using was this corrugated steel for the actual shower walls. Uh, behind the shower wall or behind the corrugated steel, we have Dura Rock. Now I had, I wasn't sure what to use, and and I did some research, and uh, some folks like to use the green board uh, drywall, uh, but you know most of the folks that I spoke to uh, and interacted with online uh, said Dura Rock was, you know, what to go with. So we ended up having to put furring strips along the uh the studs and then we added dura rock and then we used mortar uh for the seals now this uh shower i think is just under three feet and so the dura rock actually fit pretty well in here uh we uh, affixed the dura rock to the furring strips 
using the Durarock screws. There's special screws that go through the Durarock. Uh, so we did that, got everything sealed with mortar, and then we went ahead and uh, affixed the, uh, the corrugated steel. Uh, the corrugated steel is attached through the, the, the Durarock into the furring strips uh, using normal roofing, uh, uh, roofing uh, uh, screws. And the nice thing about these is they have those little uh, washers uh, on them uh, with the, uh, the, the, the cushion, so it kind of seals it. Now, because this is our shower, uh, we went ahead and we added silicone to each of the screws for the, the, uh, the center piece here where they meet. Uh, we added silicone on the back side, and we also added it on the front side to make sure that so that we did everything we could to prevent moisture from getting back there. At the bottom where we seal, where the, the corrugated steel meets the pan, we silicone that as well. Uh, the shower head that we have in here, uh, we are allowing it to rotate. This is a small shower. Uh, and so uh, it does, you know, we have the rain drop and then we also have the you know, the handle here so it works great and we really really like it the last piece of the bathroom uh that we did is put together our sink and and our sink area uh the sink we got from lowe's and uh it works <laughs> right now and for this winter the only plumbing that we really have is the shower that goes out to our gray water uh this here is actually going into a bucket but uh, with the hay bales outside, I didn't want to run the PVC piping or the plumbing from the sink into the gray water just yet. Uh, because again, the hay bales are in the way. So for the winter, we're simply going to um, just use the bucket. And then we put our mirror. We don't have electricity in here yet, but once we run the electricity, we'll have our lights here as well. Uh, so that's it. So this is our new bathroom. Uh, I want to uh, again apologize that we weren't able to show the, the build of the shower unit uh, and, and the rest of, of what we did here, but um, we definitely wanted to show you what it ended up looking like. Uh, Jen and I are very happy with the look. Uh, it was exactly what we wanted. Uh, there are a few more things that we need to do in here. Number one, obviously, is the plumbing. Uh, number two is we're going to start working on the ceiling uh, in both cabins uh, over the next uh, week or so. And then uh, more importantly, and lastly, for some privacy, we're building up a big wall here. And then we'll have a barn door uh, as our entryway. Uh, the camera is actually where, where the barn door uh, entrance into the bathroom will be. So uh, we are very, very happy. Uh, we just have to, you know, we've got a little bit more work to do, and then uh, we can certainly put a big stamp of uh, completion on this bathroom build. That said, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. Thank you so much for all of your support. If we have, if you have any comments, any negative comments, positive comments, you know, words of encouragement, uh, uh, suggestions, please throw them in the comments. Uh, I do read all of our comments and I do try to engage with you folks as much as I possibly can. Um, so definitely please leave those comments in the, in the section below. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button yet, please do so and please subscribe and please share this, this video and, and share our, our journey with, with folks you know. We are uh, so excited about uh, getting into winter here soon. Uh, we got a lot of projects coming up, a lot of new things coming up. And uh, we will see you guys on the next video.